guys, I'm going to talk about um the thing I've been working on so far. I've been working on some scripts about actually I've mostly worked on the first film. Um yeah, Stone Ocean Aftermath chapter 1 or also known as the Bot G animated universe, the Blood of the Blood of the Grimms animated universe. I'm planning to do a, an animated universe and hopefully I would garner support for it. It's basically a love letter to mostly JoJo's Bizarre Adventure but also to everything I've ever watched in but um for the DC and Marvel crap <laughs> that would be way later on. I am also a fan of other shows like Adventure Time, Steven Universe. Um yeah, I'm sorry. I know it it went bad a little a little bad in the end, but Shh, it's okay. It's my, in my opinion it was fine. It was fine. And um a, a bunch of other shows. The, the Amazing World of Gumball, SpongeBob the first three seasons. I really love those shows. And weirdly enough, it's going to be weird. This series is an homage to all of that, okay? Okay, first of all, it's going to start with the Reaper and the Stardust Crusaders. Yes, the Stardust Crusaders. In a gripping fan sequel to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Stone Ocean, the story follows Miguel JoJo, a brooding and complex figure with a tragic past. Miguel grappling with his own demons and a convoluted legacy uncovers this dark secrets about his family's history. As he delves deeper into the mysteries of the Jojo lineage, alongside a diverse group of allies, including a space wizard, a no-nonsense cop, an enigmatic sharpshooter, a brave knight, and his conflicted father, Miguel faces intense battles and profound personal revelations. His journey is marked by themes of redemption, legacy, and harsh realities of his role in a world filled with danger and deception. This film is set to explore the grim realities of Philippine politics and society. If you guys have read my fan fiction novel, you guys know what's up with Miguel. Um basically this is the first film of the series. I'm still working on the script. I don't think it's that good yet. It's good. It has some dramatic and comedic moments, but I don't think it's as good as something like Avengers or anything. But I really do want to make it that good. But it's just a fan film, okay? I'm going to start my movie career hopefully with this. And I really do hope I could have your support. I also have some planned sequels. For example, The Reaper and the Origins of Jojo. It will explore the first uh the first few parts that I made, the first two parts. And also the sixth part. Uh basically Miguel Jojo uh, in the present day. Having kidnapped Yoshiko Kira, asks her details about the past of his family line with terrifying revelations. It's an anthology with three parts: the story of Simon, the story of Arthur, and the origins of Miguel. Simple story, right? It's a very simple story compared to the first one. The first one is way heavy with the uh, F- Philippine politics and stuff. This is also heavy, but it's more expositiony, you know. And the third and the final of the trilogy is um the Reaper at the end of the world. The Reaper at the End of the World is the conclusion of the trilogy exploring the final adventure of Crusaders amidst the destruction of their universe but with the hope still remaining at the end. Finally, Dark. Oh wait, no. That's second to final. The penultimate one. Dark explores a completely different character who is connected to the Reaper. He is seemingly a rich boy who crash landed in an island who, who gained a retrograde amnesia. Becoming a vigilante warrior with a mysterious sword-like stand. Yeah, this is still a JoJo's thing. He travels to New York and becomes the deadly superhero Dark, fighting against the Pinoy tri- tar- triads of the city. And finally, the Jazz Fusion. Miguel Josuke Higashikata is a normal kid who meets a space wizard and a vigilante from a previous universe. The pair assemble a team consisting of him and his childhood heroes, hopefully to bring back the vigilante's world from destruction. This will feature characters from Adventure Time, SpongeBob SquarePants, and The Amazing World of Gumball. Is that weird? Yeah. I'm aiming for the bizarre level of this. And if it's cringe, if it's Jejumon, so be it. Because I I made this out of love and I don't care if you guys think it's cringe or Jejumon. And 
you know, if it's bad, that's fine. If it's good, that's also fine. I just like making content for you guys. And I want to share that content with you guys. And because I love you guys. And I hope to see this universe one day expand. I don't mean to... Uh, I used to think that I would like... Mm, overthrow Disney. I, I know I can do that. I don't have the power to do that. And I know I might have copyright strikes in the future for this. For this one plan. But I really do hope to make the series one day. It's a parody series. It doesn't have to be serious at all. It's serious. It's It has serious tones, especially in the first movie. But there's some comical moments and a lot of comical moments and I will be exploring these characters more. I, I always never thought I'd be doing this but I will. I'm studying animation, I'm studying how to storyboard and yeah, I'm trying to fix the fanfiction because it's such a mess there in AO3. It's a good story in my opinion, but it's such a mess. It's too long. And basically, this se series is supposed to like summarize the whole fan fiction. The whole fan fiction in a different way of storytelling, in a different plot, and in much shorter feature length films. Part 3 is summarized into three parts, and parts 1 and 2 are in that in those three movies. And Dark will summarize basically his whole adventure, meet, eventually meeting Miguel Jojo. And Jazz Fusion, yeah, it's a really long part. So I'm just using one arc from that. I'm sorry guys for those who are AO3 fans or are fans of my work in the fanfiction, the Bhatji. I'm really sorry, but I'm gonna stick with that i'm sorry but yeah that's it i'm gonna do an animated universe i'm kind of scared i might be moving i might be working i might be this is the first time i've ever doing this and i really hope you guys like it or at least some of you guys like it you guys can criticize all you want it can be ba it could be as bad and be hated but I really am doing this because I like these shows, these movies. And I know there will be haters. There will be haters. And that's fine. I really do think that's fine. Because there will be a part. It will be part somehow of the universe. <laughs> I'm kidding. I won't make fun of you guys. But in reality, I will probably make fun of a lot of crap here but i will be uh also exploring political themes in the philippines like um uh politics and society and societal cancers um this isn't just uh haha <laughs> funny meme 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 it will also explore the the philippine the, the, the tragedy of uh how the philippines came to be like in the original fan fiction, now with the fan fiction is like, haha meme every week. Uh, I don't want to do that. I want to do this with as much love and compassion as possible. And I gave your help. Um, I don't know. You, could you guys suggest something, or maybe I could like start doing new content you guys like. What content do you want from me anyway? If you like reaction videos, I'll do reaction videos. If you like skits, I can't do skits. Uh, I'll be too loud. <laughs> I, I, I'll do that someday though. If you want me to make up more of my worlds or talk about more of my worlds, I'll do that. Just tell me. Talk to me. <laughs> but I really do love these series. And the MCU movie the video... That was a clickbait. I love the MCU. I also love the DCU. Not now though. But Deadpool and Wolverine can change that. But in the end, 
whatever your opinion is of me. It matter. I'm kidding. Doesn't. But whatever you need me to do, I'll do it. I'll even. I'm kidding. No, I won't do it with you. I'm sorry. I'm taken by my fanfiction. I love my fanfiction. But my fanfiction will be turned into an animated movie one day. At least I believe it will. I think I've already shown too much of the plot anyway. <laughs> but the plot's already out there, so you guys probably know what it's gonna be. <laughs> but it won't exactly follow the the one in the AO3. It will be following how I would have intended it to be. There will be a lot of changes, and you guys might not be happy about it. But it, story-wise, it makes more sense to me, you know. But it does still carry the spirit of the series, which is a love letter to JoJo's and everything I've ever loved. So strap in. I'm gonna make the movie one day. Just not now. I'm still working on it, okay? Could be 2030s, could be 2040s, but I'll... I'll draw my audience first, okay? Okay, I love you guys.